Hey students, this is Mr. Sheehan, and during today's APS session, we are going to talk about perspectives. Over the summer, myself and the APS team spent a lot of time thinking about what sort of opportunities or uh, um, activities that we could build that ultimately affected your perspective. Um, and the thing that we kept coming back to was travel. Travel impacts perspective. It opens your mind and widens your perspective and ultimately allows you to see the world in a different way. Now, we can't just spend the next 45 minutes traveling. So we did the second best thing. We reached out to your Padua sisters who are alum, who have spent time abroad, uh, and asked them about their experiences. So for the next few minutes, um, sit back and enjoy uh, some Padua alum and their experience and take on travel. Hi everyone, my name is Lauren Hilger. I just graduated last year with the class of 2018 and the summer going into my senior year I went on a service trip to Guatemala. My name is Holt. I graduated in 2012 and since then I've been able to travel to South Africa, Thailand. I went to Paris last year and I really, really, really recommend it to anyone who wants to get out and really grow. Hi hey everyone, I'm Julia. I graduated in 2014 and then I graduated University of Delaware in 2018. I studied abroad in Gold Coast, Australia, which is a little strip of beaches in Australia. I also went to Bali, Indonesia, New Zealand, and Fiji while I was away. Hi, my name is Monica Van Steenberg. I'm a 2012 graduate from Padua Academy, 2016 graduate from Franciscan University in Steubenville, Ohio. And I have been given the opportunity to travel abroad many, many times um, since I was young, visiting family. In college, I studied abroad in Gomming, Austria, um, and visited 17 different countries that semester. Um, Post-graduation, I walked the Camino de Santiago in Spain, um, and Every year since my junior year of college, I have been given the honor to be a part of a medical mission trip through Missions of Peace to Ecuador. Hi, my name is Hannah Donovan. I'm currently a senior at University of Dayton. Uh, I was class of 2015 at Padua. My biggest uh, travel experience was this past summer. I spent 10 weeks in Malawi, which is a small country in Africa. In my past 23 years, I've been to 18 countries. Japan remains as one of my favorite places that I always want to go back. My travel to North Korea by far is the most unique experience I had in life. Hi, I'm Christina. I graduated uh, in 2012. Um, I spent lots of time in college traveling um, through my school, DeSales University. I had been studying abroad there, so I lived in Rome for four months. And while we were there, we bopped around all the different countries that we could. Hello Padua sisters, faculty, and staff. My name is Katherine Campbell and I am a 2016 graduate of Padua Academy. I am currently a junior at Immaculata University studying elementary and special education with a psychology minor. This summer I had the wonderful opportunity to travel to Peru. Hi guys, my name is Carrie Santiana and I graduated from Padua in 2015. And that makes me a current senior at UD. Winter of 2017, I did a winter session study abroad program through the UD art department. So I went to Paris, France for three weeks and Barcelona, Spain for a week. Hola a todos, saludos desde Amazonas, Peru. I'm Rachel Malator and I graduated from Padua in 2013. I am currently serving as a Peace Corps volunteer um, in the community health program in Amazonas, Peru. How did you find opportunities to travel? There's really no backstory behind it. I just was really interested in going on a service trip and I found a program online that allowed high school students to go. So I signed up and I went and it was the best experience of my life. I cannot say enough good things about it. I looked for it at all the schools that I toured. I looked at their different programs. I ended up going through a third party program, which means that I didn't go through my school. I went with a bunch of kids from a bunch of different universities across the states and we all met in Australia, which was awesome because I ended up having so many friends all over the states after, which is cool. Um, so I can go visit different places and see everyone. Went on a bunch of service trips with my school. Um, we went to Louisiana, built houses. We spent a month in South Africa and a month in India working with the church over there. So I applied for this scholarship and thankfully I won the scholarship, which was full tuition, 
for a semester at the Paris American Academy. So I began looking for something um, that I could invest my time in, invest myself in learning a new language and new cultures and new experiences. So that's when I found the Peace Corps Peru and their community health program and it was just something that I could really invest my time into, really truly invest in my passion. What did you learn while you were traveling? One of the biggest lessons I learned from traveling is just how small our perspective is if we, when we stay in one place our whole lives and how much bigger your, your perspective becomes when you go out into the world and meet people and see how they live their lives and how they view the world. I consider myself an open-minded person and I, I was before my experience but I think that this really helped to open my eyes and kind of just understand that there is a lot more happening in the world besides what is happening in the small city of Newark, Delaware. What I've learned most is to love the person in front of you um, for who they are and then to love life. I know we were given this great life to do so many great things with and I've had the opportunity to learn that having so much fun and sacrificing um, on these mission trips um, and I'll never forget all the adventures and the people I've met and I will and will continue to let that form me for the woman I am today. I learned so much about myself and the space I occupy in this world. I learned so much about growth and you know what it really means to step outside of your comfort zone and face fear head on. Um, but most importantly, I learned what it means to be tolerant and I learned what it means to be patient and empathetic and understanding. Really reaffirm my belief that you can make a connection with someone no matter what their um, status is in life, whether that's a language barrier or a different educational level or uh, accessibility to different things, you can always find a commonality between you and someone else. Um, and that's really incredible to experience no matter where you are. Personally, I think traveling develops a person's character. Being open-minded, you aren't enclosed in your bubble. You get outside your comfort zone. Traveling is something you can't learn from the classroom. As a traveler, you discover new beautiful, interesting places that make you want to go back, and you experience different cultures that you weren't aware of. Was there anything surprising about your travels and what you learned? Uh, one of my biggest points that I think is important about travel is that it really helps you grow because it's challenging and getting you out of your comfort zone, um, but also it's a bigger part of kind of learning who you are and what um, makes you you in a global sphere where everyone is unique and different in their own way. There were a few things that I was not expecting to learn while staying in Peru. One thing was the connection and impact that Peruvian students would have on me. I taught with a second grade teacher in an all boys school. Being in second grade, the boys were happy to have me but did not show much emotion until it was time for me to leave. They wrote me notes and were very sad to see me go. I was also very sad and hope one day I can go back and visit. Definitely think that a lot more things are attainable or not so far out of reach because I've studied abroad, I've learned to manage my way in a new area, um, you know, survive in a new area, work on a budget, um, meet different kinds of people, experience different walks of life. Um, these are all things that really just made me a more curious and more ambitious person. I definitely think that because of my experience, I have become a lot more independent. Um, I It was my first time kind of really leaving the state of Delaware to live, because um, obviously I'm from Delaware and then now I go to UD. So not only going to a new state, but also a new country. Um, this was a really big experience for me and I definitely became a lot, a lot more independent. Why do you think our current students should travel and how do you think it will help them grow? Travel is something everyone should get to experience and an, essen and an essential part of a person's growth. Through travel, a person is exposed to many different lifestyles, cultures, and different forms of transportation. Traveling to Peru enabled me to experience opportunities I would not have had otherwise. 100%, even if it's for just a winter session or summer or, you know, wherever, it's definitely worth it. It's definitely something everyone should experience, um, adds to your own personal growth, widens your perspective on things, really puts things into perspective. Um, also, 
companies love to see that people went abroad. I started my job with 30 other people who just graduated and I think every single one of us studied abroad in college. Um, it's definitely something employers look for because it really does just make you more responsible um, and it really also just opens your perspective on things and makes you more mature as a person. Any conversation you can have with someone who's not from where you are I think will help you grow as a person and help you figure out how you fit into the world as a whole. You know, it just, it took my breath away how different their lives are than the mine or all of yours. Uh, it was definitely challenging at first too because, like, I had to remove myself from my own lifestyle. I had to take myself out of my mindset and how I thought life should be. And, like, that was the way I was able to connect. Each person, whether in New York or in Ecuador, they still have the human dignity that the Lord has created us with. You don't have to go across the world to find someone who's different from you. I think we can learn a lot from people who are uh, right next door who don't have the same background as us. And I think that's really important when thinking about travel as a way to grow as a person. During my time at Rwanda, we put the phrase looking for the good into practice. I still thank this place and the lovely people with such spiritual power deepening my personal values and gave me a greater view towards life. As I keep looking for the good in my daily life, that wonderful attitude I've taken to heart from the Rwandan experience, I feel liberating to go through each day with such special joy and appreciation. When you returned from your travels, what had changed about you? Definitely privilege. Um, I mean, even if you acknowledge that, you know, we have it good, and, you know, we're we're all pretty doing doing pretty okay. Um, just being in other countries and seeing other people's lifestyle, you really put things into perspective. It kind of just helps to see someone's culture and how they're raised and how their culture, the, the norms in their culture, and it just really kind of lets you let go of a bunch of distractions in your own life because it really just puts things into perspective of the lifestyle that we live. And, and I, don't, I don't just mean like, we, as in girls that went to Padua, but just just the United States, people in the States just live so differently than so many other areas. Um, you really don't notice until you're out there and you experience it and realize how lucky we are. This trip, it made me grow so much. I matured more than I ever thought I would. You know, I feel like I've seen and learned more than people three times my age even know. And, you know, traveling is just an incredible thing and I cannot recommend it enough. Gaining a global perspective is one of the best things you can do for yourself and I am so grateful that I got to experience that at such a young age and that I go, get to go into college and live the rest of my life with the goal to continue traveling and just keep expanding my worldview. Really immerse yourselves in the culture and just learn about what you value and who's out there and really just get out of your comfort zone. and. I think that that's the best way to grow. It's just wonderful to be in the present and traveling help us realize that. Uh, I would say if you're thinking about travel, uh, I would say dive in and even if you have apprehensions, it'll be okay and you'll learn from the experience, good or bad, and um, best of luck. So I challenge you all to truly invest in language, invest in culture invest in the world around you because the world is your classroom and it truly is and all the experiences that you get from traveling the people that you will meet will make an impact on your heart forever and they will truly allow you to grow and to give you the skills to be professional in the United States and to make this world more inclusive and to make it um a lot more loving and caring and empathetic. So I challenge you to get on that plane, sign up for that study abroad program, and to go out there and explore the world.